actually crying in the shed true story we had this shed in our property in hawaii that i would run away to to just make music when life was hard so dramatic right for like a 13 14 year old <laughs> but i would go to the shed i'd write songs cry journal and not to uh create any trigger for anybody out there but uh I got daddy issues. I know nobody has that, you know. <laughs> I'm probably the only person in the world that has that, but I got daddy issues. And I've, I've worked through a lot of therapy to get to where I'm at today, and part of that was just sort of calling something shit for shit, <laughs> calling something what it is for what it is, and not having to lie to yourself about it, not pretending that it's okay. Um, I feel like a lot of times, especially in this culture, we create standards for each other. And it's almost like it's almost like we're capitalizing our own personality, our own identity with social media and like constantly trying to sell ourselves to people, trying to be marketable. And you're turning your whole authenticity into something that's fake. And um, I think that it's very important, especially I mean, it depends depends with who you reveal yourself to but with your close circle especially you should always be real you should always be authentic and for me my person was my guitar that was my best friend and so the songs I write I try to be as honest as possible um, and this is just one of those songs it's called daddy so it might get a little intense the exit is right there in front of me if you guys want to you know step out for a little break it's right there I might do so too <laughs> but here we go your daughter remind me again it's getting harder to simply pretend I'm looking less like you you're angry I'm confused both of my eyes were bruised to please you Call me a pauper, call me a stray, but never a bastard, cause it means you ran away. I've asked a thousand trees, what makes a healthy leaf, the kind that you stamp and keep, but they Just a hole in your pocket Another space in your wallet Something that you never wanted What's wrong with me? I'm just a hole in your pocket Another space 
place in your wallet Something that you never wanted What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I'm just a hole in your pocket Another space in your wallet Something that you never wanted What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? been through a lot <laughs> um part of my crazy story is and it's crazy i'm wearing the shirt but the reason why i moved to uh the reason why i moved out here to georgia was i had this dream of making it to the olympics ever since i was a kid and um i had a shot i had a real shot you know and so i left everything to come here and it's been a journey that i've been on like <laughs> for gosh about five years um, and I sacrificed a lot for that. And one of the things I sacrificed most is relationships. And like to share this intimate connection with you guys tonight and just being able to share some of my most intimate um, piece of my soul. It's just, it really means a lot. So thank you for listening and your support. And it makes me feel like all the hard times did have purpose and it did mean something. I feel like, I feel like uh, the whole, the whole meaning 
of existence is to create meaning. And being able to do things like art and finding meaning in the mundane really gives that sense of reason to continue living because it, it's hard out here. It can get hard out here on the streets, you know. So I really want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to create meaning. And I hope I can share meaning also with you tonight, that you guys are all creators of meaning. And the more you put yourself out there and take risks, no matter, no matter what anybody else says, you know, you hold on to that meaning no matter what, that you are a creator, you create beauty you create art you create reason to continue and i feel that this world could be a better place it just might be so thank you yeah.